What's happening guys? Let's uh, jump straight in. Today we are going to be making a BMW logo in 3D. So I'm going to do this probably in two ways. I'm going to first of all create it in Photoshop, then I might make it in 3D and then in Photoshop then maybe make it in Max. So let's get to it. So the BMW logo, quite simply, is thankfully not the most difficult thing in the world. So let's start by creating the white boxes. And I'm just going to hide my bottom layer. So, I mean, I suppose this doesn't have to be accurate for now because I can tweak and move it as I'm going. And so I've got my white box and now just to make two blue boxes, which I'll probably just merge together after. So let's get blue. Probably about that. Yeah, let's go there. And then again, I don't have to worry too much about accuracy for now. Now let me just sort of put that into position. And I'm just going to alt click it and drag the of one into position. Cool. And that will sort of do for now. That's my background checker. It's supposed to be, from what I hear, propellers on a blue sky. Was supposed to be the design idea. And let's create a black rim. And I'm just holding shift while I'm doing this, using the shape tools. Okay. So I'm going to use a no fill here. I'm going to put the black fill on the outside. But I don't want to say to 100% black. I just want to say to near black. Just because it's going to help a bit of light reflect off it later. Mm, that's way too far. Shall we go about there? Maybe a touch more. I'm just going to type in. 150 and see how that looks Yeah, that looks pretty good Cool. All right, so next I can grab all of these I'm just gonna control T them and shrink them down. So it's these fit just inside there And let's just make sure it's still so sort of centered Cool and I can pull these out a touch more ah, I'm gonna have to recenter them Cool, that will do. And you know what? Let's make let's make the rim just a little bit bigger. I'm gonna go 160 on that. Awesome. And just make sure that's centered too. Here, center, center. There we go. Cool. Is that right? I don't look right. I'll just save the d-pad. Cool. Okay, so to make this easier on myself, I'm going to select them all, right click and rasterize, which sure means we're not working in vector, but that's fine, I don't need to work in vector. And get myself an eraser. That's a weird brush for whatever reason I was doing that. And grab you guys. Oops. Grab you. Delete you. Delete you. Delete you. And delete you. Cool. And um, because we've rasterized it as well, what I can do at this point is I can go into my blending options and I can add a, a stroke to it. Because I want to add sort of a small white stroke. I mean, I probably don't want to go full white now, but I want to go a bit more sort of silvery. How's that looking? It's looking pretty good. You know what would help this be visible? If I set you to like an orange. I'm just going to alt backspace. 
Cool, okay. Now that's suddenly a lot more visible. How handy. Yeah, I'm happy, I'm happy with that. What I think I'll do though is I'm just gonna grab them all and just shrink it down a bit just because I'm a bit scared of the borders. Cool. Alright, and then finally the lettering, which we can do in. We could sort of just do manually and put into place. Um, and sort of like rotate each one. Or we could write the whole thing, try and put it on a nice big curve. But I feel like that's going to be slightly more hassle. So let's just get the M down. And the shortcut for this is Control, Shift, and Pointy Arrow. Like the pointy brackets. And I'm going to be using Arial for this because I feel like it's probably like the closest font without having to sort of like manually go through and look at everything. But what I will do is probably increase the width on it just a little bit. So I'll just get that about, about there. It probably wants to be a bit bigger as well. I'm happy enough with that. Alright, and next for the B. And then let's get the W done as well while we're here. Alright, and Control T, rotate it into place. Let's go about, about here. And rotate it so it's about on level. And then let's do the same thing with the W. I think like it's too far out. Yeah, that should be about good there. Push it down a little bit in the middle. You know, I'm going to grab all of these guys actually. And. Let's increase the font to put A on that. In fact, let's go one, four, two. That should do it. Okay, we're gonna have to do some some manual placing again, but it should be easy with the selection. Mm, yeah, let's just. And finally, the W. Awesome, so let's delete the background because we don't need that anymore. And now we've pretty much got all that together, we could save as a PNG. In fact, let's do that, let's save as a PNG. Okay, so I've saved that as a PNG, now I could go into like a, um, Three like 3D editing software and use that as a texture. But what I'm also going to do is grab all of these, merge them together. Alright, now I've got one. I can right click and new 3D extrusion. Cool. Okay, let's get my camera and just rotate it around so we've got a good view on this. And I'm going to click on this, drop the extrusion by a lot. So we thought we've got this point there. I must have not done a very clean erase, but that's fine. And on the front of it, which we set to front, so if we click on this third option up here, we can inflate it with sort of like a soft inflate, 
Oops. Let me wait. Let's get a better look on this. That is way too much inflation. <laughs> like our economy. Ha 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 ha. Like I said, we're not sort of looking for much on this. We just want to sort of get it right. Cool. And there we go. We've quickly, loosely made the logo in 3D. It's not got much of a, a, a uh, an inflation on it, but you know, it's got enough. Yeah, you can just play with the numbers until you're sort of happy with it. I don't really like the materials. The materials kind of gross. They're so like, dry. So I'm going to increase the shine and increase the reflection. Maybe not that much. And I'm going to drop the bump. Cool, and that is that. We have made the 3D BMW logo. Logo. There we go, looking pretty good. What I might also do is, while I'm at it, because I saved the P and G, I could um, export this 3D layer as like an OBJ, but you know, let's make it in. So yeah, all right. I've opened up Max, and let's just quickly do this. So I'm going to use a cylinder, create myself a nice quick deep cylinder. Let me maximum this window and turn on my edged faces. I do not need so that many height segments. But let's keep it there and probably put like two on you. Just just why not? Why not? That should hopefully be fine. Cool. Alright, and let's quickly throw an edit poly on. And what we can do is just give it a quick shape. I'm going to set you guys, and let's lift you up, just a touch, and let's go to this, and raise you up a bit too, and loosely, that'll be fine, like, like shall I chamfer, good chamfer, shall we select all, and put a turbo smooth on, turbo smooth, Yeah, why not? It's got even crazier. Loads. Uh, we probably don't want to get you. So instead of selecting all, let's just get all of you guys. Oops. And turbo smooth. Hmm. All right, never mind. Then screw you. I feel like this pin needs to go down a touch. Cool. And. If we really want to be picky, then let's sort of get this. Oops, was right before. Get you and take you down, take you down to downtown.
and pull you with it. Same goes for you. And we've got a few more to go yet. And all I'm doing is just double clicking on the edge. Should we go one more? Or we could just scale you out. Yeah, cool, that'll do. That'll do there. All right, so now we've got that, let's import the texture. We're gonna open my material editor. I'm gonna see if I can just do this real quick without having to mess about. Just gonna drag and drop you on, then drag and drop you on there and hope. No, it didn't work straight away. How dare you? It's cool, whatever. Didn't really expect it to. So let's go to my map. <laughs> nice. <sighs> Almost there. Oh, come on, computer work faster. It's kind of gross around there, but we are doing this the cheap and quick way. <laughs> cool. So, I mean, like I say, I could do that in a bit more fine detail. But ultimately, we just wanted to create a badge, which we have done. So the materials, you probably want to make a bit shiny, a bit shinier, cleaner, but there we go. We have quickly created the BMW badge in 3D now as well. Cool. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you found that useful.